Hey guys, my name is Kamani. Welcome back to Mortal's Play. Fire Emblem Awakening. So, in last episode, we went to Chapter 20, in which we faced against Walhart, or faced off against Walhart. And in this episode, we're gonna, we're gonna be going to back to Plagia, but first, we have some support conversations to go through, and we have one right here between Tiki and Na. Yay! <sighs> oh. Yes. Huh? Well... Wow! So... Wow. Thanks. No. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and that's it for our sport conversations for today. And now we can finally head off to the chapter for this mission, mission, so, for this episode. So, chapter 21, Five Gemstones. <laughs> huh? No. What? Yes.
Listen. Father. Listen. Yeah. Right. Good day, my lord. What have we here? Oh. <laughs> Can't really say that we didn't see this one coming anyways. So, we are trapped inside Plague Gate Castle and we have about 30 enemy units to go against. This will not be an easy mission at all. Well, 29. But yeah, 30. That's a good guesstimate. And there will be plenty of reinforcements along the way. Uh, and some of which we actually won't be able to take care of. So... Um, for this mission, my biggest tip, tipped, but one of my biggest tips is that you bring along units with high resistance. They are necessary for this mission. If you bring along units that have um, low resistance, it's going to be a very difficult mission for you. And you'll see why. Um, mainly, well, we're going to guess there's a lot of mages, but when I said there are some units that we won't be able to take care of, I was referring to the mages. There's going to be some mages that we're not going to be able to take care of, and they will pose quite a problem for us, especially if we have units that aren't high resistance, have low defense, etc. So, bring along units with high, with a high resistance stat for this mission. Uh, it's pretty necessary. Also, bring along a locksmith or two if you can. If not, bring along a few keys. Um, or Chrome for that matter. Chrome is just as good as a locksmith, really. Alright, so, let's start the battle. Are you ready? <laughs> Alright, so victory, defeat the commander. And surprisingly, the commander is Validar. It's this guy right down here, so we're gonna go take him out. And it's actually gonna be kind of difficult starting off right here to get everybody out because we're also kind of bunched up together, so not to 
kind of pair everybody up like this. Anyways, so, starting off the mission, there will be two units right to your left, two powerful units, I might add. So, I recommend taking them out immediately, and then kind of spending outward from there. But yeah, so, here we are in Plague Castle. We thought this was going to be, well, we didn't really think. We knew that there was something up, but what was supposed to be a friendly handing over of the last gemstone turned into this. And uh, now it's our job to make sure it doesn't get the Fire Emblem, so... Let's see, right now I'm going to select all the mages in this mission, which is going to be kind of difficult. Or, um, or just to kind of show you guys how many there are in the range that they cover. So, really for this mission, unfortunately, there aren't going to be, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to get out of enemy attack range in this mission. Almost everywhere on the map is going to be within enemy attack range, especially later in this mission, and you'll see why. Um, alright, so let's start right here. Let's Unless we're going to have you attack this guy right here. Very nice, unless very nice, unneeded, unnecessary critical, okay. Um, but yeah, so, that's what's going on. Alright. Okay, let's continue preparing everybody up. Alright, let's see, we're gonna have Morgan take out this guy right here. Morgan's gonna be a really great unit. Actually, well, she's fully leveled up, so... I mean, I could need class her, and then class her back up again if I really wanted to, but I don't see a point to it. Um, all my units are really... All my units are fine at this point, I would say. Um, I don't think I really need to worry about like leveling them up anymore because honestly the missions have been kind of a little bit too easy for me as of late. Uh, like there hasn't been enough of a challenge, and I don't like that because when there's more of a challenge, I feel like I can come up with better strategies to give to you guys. Um, but no, it's been pretty easy lately. Just because I'm kind of over leveled, and unfortunately Anna didn't deal nearly as much damage as I would hope that as I hoped that she would, but that's okay. Now, let's see, we're just bringing Sari along just because she's the rebel and she's kind of got us here. I mean, it's all really thanks to her. Oh, well, not not really, actually. Well, yeah, it's thanks to her, I'd say. Um, that everything happened like that. Everything that happened in Balm happened like it did. So, really fortunate that everything went down like it did. And that we were able to solve that problem. But now, it looks like Plagia is turning back to some old habits here. Um, from what, well, at least from what we saw towards the beginning of this Let's Play. Or the beginning of this game, rather. And look, the this is what I was talking about. The the enemy attack range, the mage's attack range is crazy, and there's gonna be more of them later throughout the episode. If you look at the map on the sides of this mission, there are a few areas or a few stairs that we can't get to. No matter we can't get to it, no matter what, and um, we won't be able to stop them. And the mages are just gonna pop up there, and they're going to deal us damage. And there's nothing we can do about them. So. The best strategy is to get through this mission as quickly as possible, because if not, there will be more and more and more mages that will be attacking you. Um, even if they can't deal a ton of damage, I mean, if you have, like, five mages who are able to attack one, like, one of your units, and they only do, like, nine damage, you know, nine times five, 45, like, 45 damage right there, they all hit. So, you really gotta be careful with that. Um, but there's no way to stop it, so... We just kind of have to get through this mission, and that's why, because we can't stop them, that's why having units that have a high resistance stat are really, really necessary for this mission. All right, let's see. Good job, Anna. I brought her along for her locksmith ability, and just because she's a good unit, same with um, Gaius and Tharja, or Gaius, really, because Tharja doesn't have the locksmith ability. I'd really appreciate having another one with the locksmith ability, but it doesn't really matter. We're getting towards the end of this let's play. This is chapter 21, and although this is chapter 21, there's 26, well, 25 plus the end game for this game. Uh, that's how many chapters there are. There are the paralogs as well, and we are not done with the paralogs yet. There are street pass paralogs, so I think they're called spot pass on here, but you get them by sh through street pra through street pass. I'm pretty sure. Um, luckily, I've gotten them all, and I will be going over those um, in this let's play. There are paralogs 18, 19, 20, 21. 22 as well, I think? No, 22, 23, 24, I believe. There's um, quite a few. Um, anyways, we won't be able to actually... We won't be able to access those until later, after we've gotten through a, a couple or a few more chapters. So that's why I'm going through these chapters and not going through these paralogs, because I can't go to those paralogs yet. If I had it my way, and I could go through the paralogs right now, I would be doing, like, uh, the same uh, the same as I've been doing for the past, like, 10 or 15 episodes, like, two paralogs, a chapter, two paralogs, a chapter. That's what that's what I would do, but those aren't available to me right now. So unfortunately, what's going to happen is we're going to go through these like the last few chapters of the game. Um, we're going to get to where it's one or two more left, um, and then we are going to have to have like five episodes of paralogs. And I could do bonus videos, but I don't know. That just doesn't. I don't really see. I, I don't think I'd be satisfied with that. I don't think I'd be satisfied with 46 episodes and then um, like. Five bon like four bonus episodes, you know, or like 45 episodes and four bonus episodes. Like, I don't think I'd be satisfied with that. Um, I would like to, it to reach 50 and for that to be 
because that's, that's just sounds better in my mind, I guess. Okay, Luna plus critical one and 23 damage, very nice. Um, but here's the thing. Um, after chapter 25, I believe it is, after chapter 25, those missions become available to us. But, if I do that, then all we'll have left is the end game of the main story. So then it would be like, chapter 25, the big, huge cliffhanger, and then it would be the end game. Then it would be five episodes of Paralogs, and then the end game, which I don't think would be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record, I'm going to record chapter 25. Then I'm going to have myself... Um, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna record and play all the paralogs, and I'm not gonna show chapter 25 until I've uploaded all the paralogs. It's gonna have a small like minor gap, like it's gonna be like a like if you look in stats, like if you would look very very closely, you might see a difference in stats of some of my units. But it honestly would it it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, you guys, I mean like I, it's just I mean I'm uploading the same content just in a different order, and the paralogs don't have anything to do with the main story of the game, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter too much um so that's what i'm probably gonna do but i'm way ahead of myself right here this is chapter 21 well actually i'm not that far ahead of myself i mean that's like three or four more episodes away which is only like a week and i've been doing a very good job singing today lately I'm just uh, kind of chew my horn a little bit uh, i'm very very happy with how i've been able to do that anyway i've been kind of like ranting on about other things or rambling on so i'm just gonna kind of pay more attention to what's going on right here if i can find enough to talk about um, let's see, everything seems to be going pretty well so far. I'm just kinda expanding everybody throughout. Um, keeping everybody together. Don't leave like don't leave behind units that have low resistance. Don't like leave them behind to fend for themselves. Um But yeah, just I mean there's really no mind blowing strategy to this mission besides bringing along units with high resistance. I think I've said it like five times already, I'm sorry, for being like for being over repetitive, but um I mean there's really it's not no major strategy for this mission. Just get through it as quickly as you can. You don't want to waste time because there definitely will be um, plenty and plenty of reinforcements, um, plenty of them, so of mages coming along later. So and we won't be able to stop them either. So it just kind of makes our job harder and harder. So critical plus Astra. That's very nice. It does 39 then a few more hits of damage. All right, let's see level 18. Very nice. Um, let's see, those are the mages I'm talking about. And here, at the beginning of turn 5, at least on this difficulty, it might be different on a different difficulty. I'm playing on casual, easy mode, the easiest there is right now. Um, on, at the beginning of turn 5, there will be 4 enemy units that appear right here. So, if you'd like to prevent that from happening, you can leave a few units on there, but I'm a little bit ahead, I guess. Like, I'm kind of charging, like, chugging through, so, chugging through, chugging. Um, I'm just kind of going right through the mission, so I'm not really going to wait for them. I'm trying to get through this mission as quickly as I can. And I just happen to have Anna, Thais, and Garja over there. Garja. <laughs> and Anna, Thais. Did I say Thais, too? My goodness, I, like, switched their names. Um, I, like, combined their names. Alright guys, I am back. Sorry but I thought I was interrupted. Poor food. Uh, my mom got home some food. Yeah. Um, anyways, so. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we're just kind of proceeding along the road over here. Um, what else? Well, let's see. The mission is pretty much downhill from here. There's really, I mean, there's really no other types that I have for you guys just to kind of keep doing what you're doing. Um, let's see. I gotta be careful down here though because there's some enemy, some powerful enemies down here which I don't want somebody like waltzing through with low HP and to potentially be attacked. I'm kind of worried about Sorry, but she should be fine. <coughs> She's usually fine, but yeah, so all of these mages are not going to be attacking our units, which is always really annoying, especially at the beginning of the mission, because it's kind of hard to skip over them, and yeah, they're just they're just annoying. Um, because usually they won't be like, dealing damage in the first place, so like my units with like like the higher, like my units with really high resistance, like I only have like a 6% chance of getting hit, like Morgan only had a 6% chance of getting hit, and if she did, and if she was hit, it'd only be 3 damage, so, I mean, you know, it's just, bring along these kind of units, um, and it's really my best advice to you, alright, 174, <laughs> very nice, I'm, you know, I don't, I don't think it's possible for an HP bar, for an HP bar to go to 3 levels, but if it was, it'd be awesome, and I'd love to see that happen with, uh, Donald, but no, it's not gonna happen, his HP bar won't go to 3 levels, uh, that just won't happen. Or three rows, rather. Anyways, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, yeah. Four thirteens, okay, I believe so. Alright, let's see. That mage is going to be attacking. Sorry. Sorry. I just said, said it like sorry, or sorry. I don't like sorry. It sounds like a, like a, um, really like country pronunciation of, like, Siri from the iPhone. 
like Sari. Yeah. Or like the name Sarah and Siri. Anyways, um, let's see. Sorry. Sorry is much better. Okay, let's see. I have Donald blocking off that opening right over there after he's opened up that door. Um, and I, he was able to open up that door just because he collected along. He, he just collected a master key along the way earlier. Um, so I just kind of had him use that. And since our um, locksmith, or well, since our locksmiths or units with locksmith capability, since they were kind of caught up with other things up there, I'm having Krom head for the door over there that has a mage and the chest behind it. Um, let's see. Alright, so... What else should we do? I guess I can talk about real life here, because I have nothing else to talk about in this game. Um, <clears throat> well, I recorded... Last time I recorded a video was a few days ago. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. Um, it's been a very good... Well, I'm not going to say it's been a good week. It's actually been... I don't know, it hasn't been a bad week. It's been an alright week. Yeah, it's been... Yeah, it's been a pretty good week. Um, but, um... Yeah, it's, it's been tiring. But today was a really good day. Today was a really, really good day. I got a lot of good grades today from back from, um, from Spanish, which is one of my lowest classes, and uh, math, which is one of my lowest classes. Um, I'm a sophomore, and I'm taking geometry honors right now. I currently have like 97 in that class, which is really good, considering it's math. Um, I, didn't, I didn't do nearly as well in Algebra 2 last year. Yeah, so at my high school, you take Algebra 2 before you take geometry. It makes sense, right? It might be the same in your high school, um, or the high school that you attended to, but no, in my high school it's uh, geometry before or geometry after algebra two, which I think algebra two is a billion times harder than geometry. So why is it before? I mean, like, uh, I think geometry should be taught before. Oh my god, I don't know if it should be taught before algebra. No, I think it should be algebra, geometry, geometry two. I mean, algebra, geometry, algebra two. But yeah, that's my opinion. Um, only other classes are going really well. I'm actually, <clears throat> for my very first time, I'm going to get, well, it's not my very first time, no. It's my first time in high school to get straight A's. So that's going to be kind of nice. Um, it's going to help my GPA, my class ranking, all that good stuff. I've been really, really, um, focusing on my academics as of late. And, um, I'm glad to say that I've been able to do that as long, as well as focus on these videos. I'm, like, I'm glad I'm able to balance too. But the one thing that I haven't been able to balance or been able to keep up with is, um, learning Japanese, which is the only thing that I'm unsatisfied with at this point, is me not having the time or not putting forth the effort to do that. And I was going to, but I decided that I should drop that and learn Spanish instead, since I'm taking a Spanish class. But, honestly, I'm not, I'm probably, I'm kind of going back on that decision because I want to learn Japanese. I don't want to learn Spanish. I mean, I want to learn Spanish eventually, but right now, that's not, it's not where my heart's at, so, um, it's kind of disappointing. But, hopefully I can get back to that soon. Um, Thanksgiving break is next week, which is five days. It's three days plus a week, and that's going to be sweet. That's going to be very nice. And then we have Christmas break after that, and we have a day off the day that we get back, so it's going to be a 17-day break. So I'm holding out for, um, for Thanksgiving break, which is next week. I'm going to record a lot of videos, do a lot of stuff on those days, um, get caught up on things, and then on Christmas, I'm going to... It's going to kind of be like my, um, my, like... Uh, my break really my big break is just um and kind of like getting caught up with a few other things or I'm just kind of taking a breather really <clears throat> Get ready. All right, let's see what's going on. All right 41% chance of dealing 12 damage. See like Frederick doesn't have a really high resistance I don't believe uh, I'll have to look at his stats later, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't and um Because of that he had 41% chance of getting hit right there So I'm actually if there's if there's anybody that I'm worried about in this mission it'd be Frederick um, because of that, but I had to bring him along anyways, or I thought it was still good to bring him along anyways, um, just because he's a really good unit, same for, uh, Cherishy, his partner, his, his partner, or his part, his partner, excuse me, um, that reminds me of, like, earlier when I was, like, I said Thais and Garcha, <laughs> goodness, okay, um, let's see, Bully and L, very nice, there's a few chests in this mission, there are one, two, three, four chests, yes, four chests, so there's a Bully and L, Actually, I don't believe I have a list with me that has all of the um, chests, I don't believe. Let me see. I think I do. Let me see. So, in this mission, there you can get a noble rapier. You can get a um, thing that I just got, which I can't suddenly can't remember what I just got. Um, let's see. I don't actually have a list here. I'm, I apologize. Just kind of look throughout the mission, like skip to where I got the chest to kind of see. I apologize. Um, Actually, you know what? I'll put that up on screen right now, actually, as a battle tip.
we will not be staying forever, okay? We take 14, and we're gonna dish out a ton. Okay, plus a critical, 150 damage. And that's it. So, today's heroes are Robin and Alyssa. Right. I'm so sorry. Listen to me. Yeah. It's my fault. It's all right. <clears throat> no. Shall we then? No. Come on! I'm so sorry. Hmm. Um. Oh. Yes. Oh. Right. Huh. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. What? Challenge my fate! 